Here we have for sale our 2019 on a 19 plate Volkswagen Transporter. This is the T30 model, which means it's got a three ton gross vehicle weight. T6, of course, which is the shape. This one has the two litre TDI diesel Euro 6 engine, producing 150 brake horsepower in this particular vehicle. And that is accompanied with a seven speed DSG automatic gearbox. And this is the short wheelbase, low roof, clearly. Addition combi van. And what we're going to do in this video is have a little walk around. I'll show you the spec that you get on an addition combi of this age because there is a lot of spec to talk about on this vehicle uh, completely from factory. Uh, and of course, there's a few other little bits and bobs which have been added to this particular example just to enhance it even further. So starting here then at the rear of the vehicle, we can see that this one is spec with a rear glazed tailgate. They all came uh, like this. You could actually, I believe, spec them with a, uh, an unglazed tailgate. Uh, so glazed of course meaning it has got the rear window and that comes heated with the rear windscreen wiper and the wash uh, function as well. You can see here the first thing which uh, to note which has been changed this one has got a gloss black rear badge and you'll see why uh, a bit later on in the video or you may have spotted it right at the start. But you can also see here we've got the rear uh, gloss black spoiler as well. Now in addition does come with these nice decals down uh, the back and also down the sides of the vehicle uh, which I think on a, on a white van like this really really does set off. We've got a, uh, another one in stock at the time of recording which is grey and it doesn't quite stand out as much. On an addition then it's basically a high line but with extra spec so you get all these elements color coded things like the uh, door handles all around the rear bumper front bumper of course and uh, you can see here that we get rear parking sensors as standard. Now this particular one has got a tow bar which uh, of course wouldn't come as standard if we just have a look under here this is the VW uh, proper VW tow bar and it has got 13 pin electrics under there. Now they do come as standard with a reversing camera which is just nestled under there and this one has got LED rear lights which isn't standard so nice little factory option there. Now if we open up the rear tailgate we can start to have a look inside the back of this van. Now this particular one has been carpet lined which makes a big big difference to uh, the just overall experience of owning one of these because this really does help to deaden down the sound in the back of the vehicle when you're uh, driving. Of course, all this behind here, they would have added some insulation behind here as well to further deaden that down, but it certainly gives a lot more of a car-like feel. Now you can see here on the floor then, you get the nice uh, soft touch rubber flooring here in the back of the combi. Plenty of tie down points as well there, but these floors are absolutely fantastic. You can easily clean these out and also a bit softer on the knees if you're climbing in there to go and grab something. It's not killing your knees uh, while you're doing so. Also inside the rear tailgate here, that has all been done in the carpet lining as well. And this is the correct placement there for the toolkit. Now you can see the space that you get here as well. This is what makes these vehicles so, so practical is you can carry five people in there in total comfort, but then you've still got a fantastic space behind. And this is a good opportunity as well to show you that this one has got the two plus the one rear seating configuration, uh, which basically means you can operate these seats completely independently. So you can just remove the two or just remove the one or even fold that down or fold that down completely independently of each other. What's great about that is you could just remove the single seat if you wanted, maybe load something longer down this side, but still got passenger room for four people. Shutting the rear tailgate there, you can hear that one has got soft closure, or, uh, which, which is very, very nice indeed, or power latching as they call it in VW land. Looking then to these rear quarters, now this one has had uh, basically fake glass or dummy glass there fitted to the rear quarters. Now, as I say, from the inside, you will tell, obviously, it is uh, carpet lined. From the outside, the reason for doing that is it just provides a much better continuation uh, along the side of the vehicle. If that wasn't done, then you just have, of course, a white panel here. Um, uh, and as I say, kind of almost, not doesn't look right, but as I do think it looks better when they put this dummy glass in there. It just continues the top parting glass all the way around looks really really smart indeed this one has got black roof bars black sidebars which of course don't come as standard and this one has had some upgraded alloy wheels as well so we've got some lovely 20 inch diamond cut and gloss black alloy wheels fitted to this van these are brand new of course with brand new tires as you can uh, hopefully see uh, so no issue there in terms of tread depths and things like that of course uh, but they really do set them off very nicely as standard they come with 17 inch wheels 
uh, but I think as well hopefully as you'll agree that looks really really nice and to my eyes uh, we haven't done it but this one looks to be slightly lowered as well maybe 30 or 40 millimeters as well which just really improves the look overall also now on an addition you get some elements which come in gloss black that includes the wing mirror covers and also the roof and again just on a white van like this I think that really does set it off very very nicely indeed now let's jump inside the cab because there's still plenty of spec to talk about in here this is a one owner from new vehicle as well so bear that in mind we do have evidence of service history and it's just been right through our workshop as well for a full service uh, as well and say one owner from new fantastic history and you'll see some of the spec that we've got inside here so opening up the driver's door lovely condition inside here so of the uh, step there absolutely fantastic now another factory optional extra this one has got uh, cab carpet and again continuation into the back with the rear carpet lining that really really helps and you can see we've got some nice carpet over mats just there as well electric windows electric heated folding mirrors lovely touch to have that if you put turn it to the folding position that is how they uh, that's how they fold and you put it back to one of the other positions there so that's in the heated position now they will fold back down auto activated lights and auto activated wipers we'll come on to the lights a bit later on uh, two full remote keys with this particular vehicle leather multi-functioning steering wheel what's i what, what i really like about this is no excessive signs of wear of course as you'd expect with this sort of mileage on the left hand side then got your cruise control settings on the right hand side you've got your onboard computer controls just there and you can also answer and hang up the phone as well but as a lovely condition here same goes with the driver's seat so you've got height adjustability here but lovely condition here as you see no wear to the driver's bolster twin adjustable armrests you can adjust those using the little wheel underneath there the mileage then exceptionally low on this particular van 16,008 miles recorded and you can see there the vehicle is running it's all idling correctly as it should do uh, no warning lights there on the dashboard which is always of course what we like to see looking into the center then we can see that as a seven speed dsg automatic gearbox in my opinion i've said this many many times uh, one of the best automatic gearbox you can get in any van i really think it is fantastic on the left hand side then we've got the heated uh, windscreen which comes as standard this one's got heated seats which doesn't come as standard which is very very nice and air conditioning as well which is a standard specification now another really nice factory uh, option on this one that one that you can't get on new vans actually is this one has got what they call comfort dash so this is this gloss gray uh, upper part this brushed aluminium lower part as well and inside the glove box is all flocked inside here which is really really nice there's also a usb and au export that is relocated into that upper glove box of course you've still got the lower glove box as well to utilize but a really really nice system there also with a comfort dash you get this here which is a 12 volt socket bit of extra cubby space and just underneath there you've got cup holder there and we've also got a bottle holder down there as well and then on top of the dashboard another opening uh, compartment again flocked inside there so sort of carpet lined inside there as well but just again just makes it feel more luxurious more car like in here as a driver this one then uh, as, as standard the addition does come with discover media sat nav and also app connect so you can see i've got you may have noticed when i opened that glove box there i've got my phone plugged in so app connect gives you apple carplay and android auto as standard absolutely fantastic systems you can use things like your uh, apple maps on here you can listen to your music via uh, apple music or spotify all as you wish very very easy to use indeed if i go back to the volkswagen page just here go on to radio you can see that you've also got DAB radio on there. And then if I go on to nav, you have also got the satellite navigation just there. Now, if I put the vehicle into reverse, you can see that's where you've got your reverse camera displayed very, very nicely there. And then when you take it out, you've got the full parking sensor display as well. So for front and for rear but very very nice spec as i say all as standard other than the comfort dash in here and the heated seats and just having another look at these heated at, at the front seats here lovely condition there of the passenger seat again twin adjustable armrests and having a look into the back as well lovely condition of the rear seats and they are all uh, well the two on the left actually are isofix compatible as well moving then around to the front of the vehicle in terms of condition then let's have a really good look here at the condition looking down the side of the vehicle looking for any dings or dents or anything like that but there's not a lot which i can see there just turn the brightness up on the camera a touch there 
It's looking really, really straight and clean. There's not much I can see there in terms of any dings or marks or anything like that. And again, same for the back as well. I guess as you would expect with this sort of miles, it's 16,000, very, very low miles. I say clearly been well looked after by its one previous owner. Moving then around to the front. Now there's a few things to, to note here. So all the grills have been changed for gloss black. They, that doesn't, uh, they don't come from factory uh, like that, but a major, major upgrade, I think. Uh, I think it just totally uh, improves the aesthetic of the front of the vehicle. And the reason you've got the gloss black rear badge is because you've got the gloss black front badge. Now I said I'd talk a little bit about the lights. So an addition comes with LED headlights, which is, I, I've said to lots of customers in the past, if there was one uh, factory option that I was gonna tick on a transporter, it would 100% be that. Standard headlights on transporters aren't the greatest. They've got a bit of a reputation for that, uh, but these are absolutely uh, fantastic. They also come with this lovely LED daytime running light around the outside uh, there as well, which just looks better. Uh, you've also got front parking sensors, and this one has had the Sportline style front splitter added to it as well. And I think all things considered then, when you've got the, as I say, the slight lowering, the 20 inch uh, alloy wheels, the addition decals, the gloss black uh, front uh, grills and the, and, and the badges. I think that is an absolutely gorgeous looking van. Condition wise then at the front of the vehicle, again, very few sort of stone chips that we would, I guess, usually see on a higher mileage van. Uh, and again, down lower here, looking in really, really good order. Looking then finally down the passenger side then of the vehicle, just trying to see if there's anything there which I can see. Lovely condition, it must be said. Tiny little mark just here above the passenger door handle. Now I will see if that will polish out a bit better. Looking inside there, passenger door card all spot on. Same with the passenger step. And I say, nice to have the carpet over mats there over the already cab carpet. You get a power latching side loading door, a standard on the addition as well. So as I say, that is soft closures. When it, you don't have to necessarily slam it, it will just nicely soft close as you would get on something like a Rolls-Royce. I say Isofix compatibility on the seats, actually all three uh, seats, and you can fold these down, you can remove them all as you want to as well. But lovely condition inside here, the floor, the step, all absolutely spot on. I don't know if I can actually show you the power latch in there, but there we go, not slamming it, it just on that last little bit, just assists it to close. So just to summarize then, 2019 on a 19 plate Volkswagen Transporter, this is the T6, so the sixth generation transporter. T30, so three ton gross vehicle weight, two liter TDI diesel Euro 6 engine. So you can take this into the low emission zone such as uh, Bristol just being uh, announced. Of course, places like central London, uh, you can take it into those zones without having to pay the daily charge. So Bristol is nine pound, I think. Central London, it's something like 12 pound 50 at the moment per day. Uh, and I say you don't have to pay that clean air zone or ultra low emission zone charge with this vehicle. Uh, it's got the 7-speed DSG automatic gearbox, 150 brake horsepower from that Euro 6 engine, short wheelbase, addition combi, uh, a lovely spec of course as standard on the addition but this one has got some really nice features such as this re extra rear glass, the 20 inch alloy wheels, the lowering, cab carpet, comfort dash and then as I say all the extra uh, bits and bobs as well which as I say come on the uh, addition. This one has got as I say the tow bar on there uh, which I believe can be removed if you if you so wanted it to to be LED real lights, LED headlights. The list just goes on and on and on. One owner from new, two keys, and plenty of service history as well with this one. I know we've got a stamped uh, book uh, displaying previous service history, and upon arrival with us during our uh, preparation, has benefited from a full service in our workshop as well before being offered for sale here now. If you would like to see the full advert, please head over to our website, bridgeendvans.co.uk, if you haven't done already. We will welcome inquiries on either of the numbers listed there at the bottom of the sign, so please feel free to pause the video there if you want to make a note of those. We can take cars or vans in part exchange. We can deliver our vehicles nationwide, and of course we can arrange finance at very competitive rates for uh, limited companies, private individuals, sole traders, lots of different situations we can help to fund the vehicle for you if you'd like to spread the cost. Thank you very much for watching. We'll look forward to hearing from you.